Black Science TV when another I'll say before I'm back at y'all again. I'm coming to address um, my critics in this video. And hopefully by the end of this video you'll understand. If not, that's cool because I'm not gonna lose sleep over um, the messages that you send um, to me because you are in your emotions. So um, a lot of y'all against me saying, for an example, that I shouldn't be saying that the earth don't exist because the language was created by people who oppressed us. Number one, I don't give energy or power to things that need energy to exist. That's number one. And when I say that the earth don't exist, I mean what I say. I stand on the facts that I speak that comes from my soul. You get what I'm saying? So I'm coming to address the frequency that we call earth. I'm using it as an example. I have no problem with the languages that we use. Of course, we have to use it to communicate with each other. But just because we use it don't mean that we necessarily have to make the word or the languages that we use exist. That's all I'm saying. When y'all talk about earth, y'all fight each other over the definition of the earth that your so-called oppressors created. And you've given it a reality to exist even though it's an illusion. Can't none of y'all prove that we live on an earth or in an earth? Can none of y'all prove that the earth is flat or round? Y'all just, at the end of the day, want to um, debate over stuff and make yourself feel good. I mean, that's fine. If we have a lack of pride, then that's something psychologically that we have to deal with with ourselves personally. Let's not take our energy and bring it to the community and confuse the people. Because what I'm saying, I stand on it. And you can't prove that we live on the earth. Because the first time that you heard about earth, you heard from a system that you claim oppressed you. That's hypocritical. How you going to talk about the man who oppressed you, but you still eating his food? To prove your theories. Of course I still use the word earth. But when I use the word earth, I don't allow the definition of the word earth to exist the way that the people who you claim oppressed us, the way that they allow it to exist. I just use it to communicate with people who still on that level who's under a spell or under that frequency or under that concept of the word earth. The same thing with the word God. I'm pretty sure that this universe is older than the language that we're speaking. It's older than the word God. It's older than the word earth. If these are English, if, if these are English terminologies, then I'm pretty sure that the universe is older than that and the, the fabric that you cut from is older than that. So you are older than the God that you're trying to become, which was created by the same people you claim oppressed you. And you can't prove me wrong. Prove that we live on the earth. If the, if the, if the, if the word earth was never spelled out and initiated under a blueprint to be downloaded into your subconscious or your biological computer, you would never use the word earth to identify the jurisdiction or the place where you stay. We wouldn't be fighting each other over a concept. Right? I'm not saying that, it's, that we can't use it. But use it, but don't give, don't give power to something. You can still use the language, but you don't have to give power to the language that you're using. To exist the way that they want you to think about it. Or the way that they want you to create it to be a reality. You can't prove none of this stuff. You can't prove nothing about a God. Hell, I'm, I'm more than a God. I can prove that my thoughts come from a mind. I can prove that easily. So right now, I can only go off as far as where I am or where I live is in my mind. If you want to call that an earth, that's fine. But again, can't none of y'all prove that we live on an earth or in an earth? You are only regurgitating the man that you call your oppressor. You are regurgitating his energy. And you're keeping it alive. You're making an illusion a reality. Now, you can, I'm saying, again, I'm going to say this again for the record. You can use the word earth, and I'm using that for an example. But that don't necessarily mean that the word is real. The definition of the word, or what, what the earth is. You can't prove that what the, what the earth is is what they say it is. Remember, your brain responds 
to certain letters, which is words. The word becomes a mask. You are masking numbers. Like binary codes in your brain responds to these words because you have to spell a word. So now you are under a spell. And now since you are under a spell, they create two fragmented theories for you to fight each other, round and flat. And this is the psychological effect of what we're seeing, the fight. It's called theory racism. You create two fragmented things and you have two people go against each other over theories they never created and would never even use had they not had it not been introduced to their vocabulary, their psychological vocabulary. You can think you can believe in what you want to. I'm just here telling you what I mean when I say that the earth don't exist. It was taught to me. Everything in nature don't know that it's on the earth. It don't need to know that. Because it's not important. So what? Even if you prove that the earth is flat or round, so what? How is that going to help you to sustain yourself? Because I thought that self-preservation was the first rule of law. So if you're still running around trying to, to argue the earth is flat or round and your family's starving, so-called conscious community, there's something wrong. That means that you're using that as a crutch to keep from being the warrior that you're supposed to be as far as taking care of your family and self-preservation. And I'm going to leave it at that. So this is Osaka for Black Science TV 111. I'm out. Peace.